All right, welcome back. A chillier start to the morning for a lot of us, especially along and north of I-96. Greenville uh, back to 30 degrees, Fremont 31. Big Rapids had briefly hit 30, now back up to 32 degrees. 38 cold water, 39 in Holland. So notice just a few inland low-lying areas that have gotten that below freezing mark everywhere else, mid to upper 30s, so we're holding okay and dodging out on any significant frost, or at least for the majority of us. 32 in Grand Rapids is the feel like temperature. We already have a light wind out there, picking up to about seven, eight miles per hour, 31 in Ionia, and again, feels like 32 in Big Rapids. Grand Rapids looking to the west, getting ready for the sun to rise, already seeing those clouds dissipate. It has been a quick rate at which those clouds have diminished. We're already mostly clear, setting us up for a nice day. Montcalm County, more of the same. Those clouds have come and gone, and we are setting up for a gorgeous afternoon here today. It is sunny and breezy for your Sunday. Wind is still noticeable. Again, breezy, gust to 25 miles per hour, but not as strong as yesterday's. Sunny in 60s for Monday. We'll still be dealing with a wind, but it's out of the south and west. Rain arrives on Tuesday. That's with a breezy system itself, so the wind does not really let up until we get to Thursday. So it's going to be five days in a row and all said and done of winds gusting upwards of 25 to even 30 miles per hour. As we go through the day today, it's a northwest wind. 10 to 20 miles per hour sustained. Not as strong along the lakeshore, but gust inland to 25 miles per hour. It quiets down tonight as the winds shift. It's out of the south and west for Monday, and gusts north of Grand Rapids will be upwards of 30 miles per hour. So the clouds are continuing to dissipate here. Again, it was briefly mostly cloudy. Now it's trending already towards mostly clear, and we'll stick with that right on through the day. Even as a weak cold front cuts through the state, we're not expecting any clouds to form from that. And as that moves back off to the north and east, the warm sector starts to build in. Southwest wind, high clouds increase. That's a sign of milder air setting up, but it will bring us a rain chance as we head into Tuesday. Tuesday morning, a decent line of showers is expected, associated with one cold front, and then a secondary front slides through in the afternoon. That may fire off a, a storm uh, or two, but those look to be quite isolated and, if that, fairly weak as well. Rainfall for Tuesday, really the only day of any rainfall this week until we get to Friday night, and it's not looking like much more than a quarter an inch of rain. So we're already starting to trail behind on April average for rainfall. We normally see about four inches on the month. We're at about just under two and a half, and Tuesday could add another quarter inch. But more rain looks to be expected Friday and Saturday. And again, it's coming with a lot warmer air as well. So it's going to be a warm and wet end of the month of April. I guess we'll take that rather than being cool and dry, considering yesterday was in the 40s. Much rather have 60s if it means 